Hey everyone, um, this is Randy Gravit. Um, you know, on this website, um, I changed the name um, to my sister's name, my sister-in-law's name, um, trying to help her to get some money. Um, due to her job, she got fired and she was kind of like a patsy. Um, there's like four girls one older lady and four younger girls who've been with this doctor for years um, they like to cover up their work blame it on somebody else um, the patients that she only supposed to sign paperwork for the girls didn't want to sign their own paperwork um, a lot of, uh, she tells them the stories of that uh, this doctor um, doesn't know his patients very well because a lot of times she he miss uh, miss writes the medicines that they're supposed to have and a couple of times came close dying from that medicine because of missed doses or the medicine also the pharmacy people notice that the patient knows what they take and this doctor, another thing, uh, my sister-in-law um, is an Iraqi veteran. She's been over there in the danger zone in Iraq. Um, she was where it was called the bonfire. She was where that bonfire with the chemical uh, and stuff was put in to, to burn off and everything else. And... This doctor and these ladies who think they're smart. I used to be a nurse. I know how these doctors work. And I used to work as a student loan person. Some of these doctors, especially this doctor, um, doesn't care if she was in the, the military. She He told her right off one day to her, get out of the military. Some of those people out there you know it's hard because you can't get out of the military you have to do what the military says you have to go training you have to work for them when it comes call the duty these people didn't care so they made her sign her name on all these other patients that didn't belong to her her it wasn't her patients another thing she's five months pregnant she's due in of August or around September now she has no job and I try to help her, and I'm trying to help her now, trying to f f help her with money. With me on Social Security and stuff, it's hard for me to do. And it's no way we her. In these, these last few months, it's going to be hard for her to pay help. Pay for a two-and-a-half girl she has. My brother has got these stupid ideas that he wants to make some thirty thousand dollars an hour out there somewhere he's been goofing up the last four years and really doesn't care about his son and her who lives here but only cares for one child that lives in Pennsylvania and he spends money that they need big bills and she she's losing her car because of him and um, and I put it in her name because the money situation and you see ads here on on these videos and stuff I'm helping her and it's gonna be in her, in her name to get help her she needs all the money she needs for through the year for the rest of the year because my brother works just for the summer for this client true green and they don't do any work during the winter time so the last winter he didn't go out and try and find a job through the winter he just left off um, unemployment that the the company guarantees him he'll have a
money. Now, she's got unemployment money, but the problem is you can't live off $130 with a child who's coming and you only have a child that you have to feed from diapers and stuff and it makes me mad when this doctor and these other girls who work with this doctor for years gets away with it and hides what he does in order for them to keep their job they hide his mistakes his medical mistakes and that's where it pisses me off I'm a nurse I've had kids with a doctor like that and who doesn't want to care about our military especially her she's been in Iraq she doesn't understand how our military saved his butt several times through the years and he doesn't care about our military that's not a doctor who cares about our American people and he worries about his own work how he can pass try to pass his get his license renewed and stuff and it's like I wish somebody does it and do a serious background check because he left one medical uh, place to own his own medical place so he wouldn't get caught so something is wrong but yeah I'm trying to help my sister along if anybody's got suggestions how she can help anybody can help, make, help her make it through the rest of the year and because I'm the only one has the I just got a van and using up my money to have transportation for her and stuff and my brother doesn't have the right transportation haul, haul two kids and my niece from Pennsylvania and haul everything else but um, it's sad how people who disgrace veteran that and who's pregnant who needs the money before because they, they get getting tired because she had he had to miss her work to go to for the military and stuff. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.